Hey friends, welcome back. Today I am sharing a huge decluttering project. We are finally clearing out all of the junk in our garage, all around our house, like the demo from the bathroom build. Also, if you are following that bathroom build series, we have one final episode coming out. We have just the final finishing touches to put on everything, but we're delayed in shipping for a few things. So in the meantime, you guys can enjoy this decluttering video we are doing. We are starting off down in the garage, and by we, I mean Christian. We've been throwing all of our boxes down here, all of our construction debris, all of it's just been piling up in the garage and around our property. So we actually got a huge dumpster delivered to our house. And so Christian's gonna tackle the hard work of putting everything here into the dumpster, clearing up our yards, all of the backyard, all that stuff. And then my job of course is uh, distracting the toddlers and not letting them get hurt or in the way of any of this progress. But uh, this was quite a few days of work. I think Christian spent maybe two or three days on just the garage and the exterior debris from all the construction. You don't quite realize how messy all of those projects can get, especially when you just leave the stuff to pile up. I'm sure our neighbors are really happy that we are finally getting rid of the giant piles of doors and door frames and drywall that's just been sitting in our yard, but I guess that's also kind of the perks of living in a neighborhood with no HOA. No one can complain about what we do with our house, really. So Christian's gonna wrap this up and then we are gonna move on eventually to cleaning up in the basement. We're basically gonna unpack all of the final boxes in the house from when we first moved in. If you remember, we didn't wanna do a lot of uh, unboxing and moving stuff into the house when we first got here because of all of the projects happening, but now we are slowly getting more and more settled and we feel a lot better about uh, actually unpacking and settling into these rooms as we complete them. Now in this video, we're making tons of progress on the decluttering and organizing and just cleaning of the garage. But if you remember a video from months ago where I shared like the biggest, most expensive project we're doing to this house actually happened like structurally in this room. And we're still in the middle of that project. We're waiting on a few things to happen, namely demolishing the upstairs bathroom and master bath, the old bathroom, not our beautiful new bathroom. But once that's demolished, the contracting team we're working with can come in and finish the work in the garage and finally remove this pole in the middle of it. So even though we're making this Room organized in a lot less chaotic in this video it's not it's like final form so let me know in the comments if you guys want to see like a garage makeover video down the line because we have big plans for like epoxying the floors and doing built-ins down here too and while Christian's busy decluttering and organizing in the garage I want to thank the sponsor of today's video Ritual. As a busy mom of two in the throes of home renovations and decluttering and organizing all the chaos you see here on this channel, I am so appreciative of the convenience of Ritual's Essential for Women 18 Plus Multivitamin. Ritual's vitamins are formulated with key high quality nutrients to help fill common dietary gaps. They're designed to support brain health, bone health, blood building, and antioxidant support too. Their vitamins are also gluten-free, vegan-friendly, and non-GMO project verified. Even if my diet is a bit lacking some days, or the only thing I have eaten is just some mac and cheese out of the pot that's left over from my toddler, I know that Ritual is helping fill common nutrient gaps in my diet. They're squeezing in nine key nutrients in just two daily capsules that are delivered straight to my door. They also have a happiness guarantee. If you are not thrilled with your experience with Ritual, you have 30 days to get a complete refund. So start a daily ritual that you can feel good about. Ritual is offering all my viewers 20% off of your first month. Just scan this QR code or visit ritual.com slash Allison McPhail to redeem this offer and start a new routine today.
Now we haven't done a ton of organizing in this video. We're basically just gonna push everything in the garage along this back wall just to get it out of the way so we can finally open like the man door to the garage and actually have it be walkable in here because you saw before it was just full of trash and stuff. Um, but basically just pushing everything along the back wall. We will organize this at a future date, but we just wanted to clear this space out because it is infuriating to try to get in the door with a car seat and a toddler and groceries and you can't even walk in here. So this is a huge improvement. Now with the garage cleaned up and the outside cleaned up, we can finally move on to the basement. Uh, we have cleaned this many times on this channel. We just have to keep shifting where our junk is basically. And in this video, we are finally addressing the junk. We are throwing out so much stuff. I am donating things. We are even selling things on Facebook Marketplace. I will talk about how successful that has been for us later on, but uh, we have a lot to work with down in this basement. We're right now using it as Madeline's playroom and it's actually going to be a beautiful playroom at the end of this video, so stay tuned. But long-term, we would love to have this be more of like an entertainment space, a TV room, a bonus room, especially because it connects to our back porch. So that'd be a great space to put a large TV, a big comfy couch, maybe a drink cooler down here, and just like a fun entertainment space for all ages. But for right now, we don't have all of that set up, so we are just focusing on making it toddler friendly and play space. And that kind of real estate is super valuable for us in this phase of life. So first I'm going through this bench that I stole from my mother-in-law and father-in-law many years ago. I think I had this back in our first apartment in Virginia. Uh, so thank you to my in-laws for letting me steal this from your house. Uh, we were using it to hold a bunch of clothing and like our travel items and a bunch of random things. And so I am just pulling everything out, sorting through clothes. We have not reached inside of this bin since we moved into this house over six months ago. And so it's safe to say that a lot of things in here can just be donated. I'm also gonna pull this upstairs with Christian's help and get this up into our master bedroom, which ends up clearing up a lot of floor space in here. Christian's also gonna hop in to go through all of his clothing items and we're just throwing anything that we wanna donate or get rid of in these boxes to the side and then we'll be just making a pile of our keeps. Yeah, yeah, I always knew that this would happen. Yeah, you would find a new distraction. I need you more, need you here. Then I would like to admit Can we let go of tomorrow? Yeah You never break, you never lie You never ever scared of the dark So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left I'm moving our little play couch over where that bench used to be. It is a really comfy seating option. Even as an adult, I'm a big fan of this, so I don't feel like we like have to get a couch in here anytime soon. Even though this is currently our only seating option, it works out great. It works great. I can set Daisy on it. I can sit on it. Christian doesn't mind sitting on it. And of course, it's perfect for toddlers. Um, so that's a great solution for seating and still having like that play couch down in this playroom. We do have some play stuff upstairs in the living room of our house, but it's been way too overwhelming for me to have lots of toys up there especially large toys or toys with little pieces. So my goal is to keep all of those items down in this playroom. With Daisy getting a bit older and being awake for longer periods of time, it's easier for me to like come down here an hour or so at a time with Madeline and let her go wild down here basically. And then I'm able to keep my sanity while we're upstairs. Yeah, yeah. I'm moving all of our decor into the garage, our Christmas bins, our strollers, just anything we want to permanently store in the garage now that there's actually room for it over there. If you guys have been following along since our California house, you might remember that we had a beautifully large storage room, like not even a closet, like a straight up room for storage inside the house. So it was air conditioned, all of that stuff. So we ended up getting this storage rack from Target and using this bin system to store a lot of like 
commonly reached for items. I would have like neutral home decor, electronics and random cables, wrapping gift supplies. All of those have been organized into categories in these bins. And it was great in that house because I had a closet to put them in. But in this house, we haven't quite figured out our storage system because I don't necessarily want all of these items sitting in the garage. But I also don't love them sitting out in the open here, but it's the best we've got for now. But I am gonna go through each of these bins in this video and just take out everything. Um, I'm going to be taking out home decor items, things that are just trash. When we moved out of that California house, my mom and I, when we packed up the house, ended up putting a bunch of random junk inside of these bins too, just to put things in places, just to get it moved across the country. So I'm pulling those items out of there, finding some surprises along the way. And uh, I'm going to show you our donation pile and the trash pile. Actually, not the trash pile. The trash pile is just the entire dumpster. We filled that thing to the absolute brim. But I will show you our donation pile and the Facebook Marketplace selling pile at the end of this because it is a huge amount of stuff we were able to get rid of. While I'm doing this voiceover, uh, Madeline is currently at her grandparents' house for the weekend. Christian's going to go pick her up in a little bit, and I miss her so, so much. So watching these little clips of her and just seeing what she is doing while I'm working is literally the cutest thing. She saw me carry a couple of picture frames out to the trash can, and she like immediately picked one up and was like, okay, we're taking the picture frames out, and was like trying to jump in and help and literally is melting my heart to pieces. I miss her so much. This day, Christian wanted to be super involved with filling up the dumpster and all of that stuff, so I just needed to clear a path from the back bedroom in the basement to the dumpster. So I'm just shoving toys everywhere in here. Uh, don't worry, we will get to organizing them and decluttering them later on, but right now we just wanted access to this room and to be able to drag all of this stuff out of here because this room, we set up as a gym and we just have not been able to use it as such because of all the construction happening in the garage, like all that floor joist project. Project. We needed that to be cleared out for the construction team in there and so this room got uh, subjected to just being the junk room. So we're going to finally tackle this and have it actually be a functional gym again at the end of this video. I'm joined by Daisy now, so you might hear a tiny co-host in the background, but I'm moving the extra crib we have upstairs because we're finally gonna have two bedrooms for the girls. We're also gonna be getting rid of our trifold mattress. We used it a lot for camping, but don't have a use for it now. Thank you, Daisy. We're also getting rid of this big mirror that used to go above our dresser and our coffee table. Just lots of little things. This might not be working out, but lots of little things are finally leaving this house and a lot of them are just going into the trash. When we first moved into the house, we got a brand new refrigerator and Costco had a deal where they gave you a free compact one. We've been holding on to it in the basement in the garage and decided ultimately to just sell it. And we got rid of it for 150 bucks in about 12 hours from Facebook Marketplace. So very successful on getting that out of the way and also getting some cash back on it. 
Picking up this video a few days later, we definitely have done some work off camera, so I'm gonna give you a frame of reference of where we're picking back up with this decluttering project. We moved my giant pile of donations and sell items out to the garage. I took pictures of all of this, listed it on Facebook Marketplace, and we are getting stuff sold and out of the house, so that has been really good. Things in the basement have gotten quite a bit worse as we've opened up some more things. Uh, the back room's a lot better, but we obviously have built a very large mountain to go through here. Um, I need to do a bunch of toy storage organization. I want to move all of our toys in here into this little console table that I built from Ikea and baby proof that so Maddie can't get into that and then put like accessible toys for a toy rotation out here. So that's on my to-do list. Maddie just turned two and we gave her the Ikea kitchen as a gift, but we were in Florida for her like her actual birthday. So I still haven't built that. So that's on my to-do list is to put that in this little corner. And then back in this room, we have actually made tons of progress. So still a lot of work to get done. I am excited to push through. Maddie is at her grandparents this weekend, which means we can focus and hopefully just knock all of this out today. Fingers crossed. We'll see how far we get. We'll see how much stuff we sell on Facebook Marketplace. Um, let's let's do it. Of course, there were more piles of things to bring down to the basement and organize and sort and go through. So bringing all of that down the stairs and then gonna get working on that big pile that had grown. We had cleared all of that out before in the beginning of the video. And while clearing out that back room, that pile just multiplied all over again. But don't worry, we're gonna tackle it really, really fast. With the new bathroom almost completely done, it's time for us to start moving on to the next project, which will be the girls' room. We are going to start with Daisy's smaller nursery first, and then we're gonna move on to Maddie's room. And what I'm probably most excited about for that part of the process is actually building out a new closet in Maddie's room, where we can hopefully store all of the baby clothes that she's outgrown, but we're still holding on to, or putting diapers in there, or just all of the giant baby things you have to store and hold on to, and you just have to have a place to put them. So very excited to have a closet in Maddie's room, hopefully in the next couple of months, We'll see how that all pans out, but very excited because that's just the bulk of what's down here at this point is just like awkward things that like need to go in the girls rooms, but the girls rooms aren't done yet. We're also going through the last boxes that we had packed up from California. So that was kind of a bit of a throwback to go through. Uh, we pulled out the, the boxes that had all of our nightstand stuff, little tchotchkes and knickknacks. We were finding lamps and decor and a bunch of random things that I honestly forgot we had. So thankfully a lot of it could go because we had gone months without even thinking about it and so that was an easy decision and then everything else was able to be stored away in these storage bins. ended up taking this white bin from Ikea and designating this as like the decor for the girls rooms because there's a few key pieces that I definitely want to include there. One of my sisters-in-laws made a quilt for Madeline for her first birthday. We have a framed silhouette of Madeline, all of her little baby hangers, just sweet things that I can't wait to decorate their new rooms with once we finally tackle those. So all of those now have a place to live and it's exciting to know that that box will just disappear once we finish the girls rooms. People knew her by her will to make it whatever she put her mind to. At this point, we realized that we wanted way more stuff to fit on these storage racks inside here, so we decided to move any decor bins. So like anytime neutral decor, spring decor, fall decor, all of that got moved out to the garage. I'm gonna transfer all of those another date into those black and yellow tubs from Costco. We think those are a little bit safer for keeping uh, spiders and bugs out of those bins, which is my biggest fear and concern. Um, so we'll do that another day, and that cleared up enough space on those storage racks for us to be able to put some more luggage and just other random items and just fit all the bins we wanted. 
Also this bottom drawer and this console table had all of my crafting supplies and my Cricut supplies. So I moved all of those into a larger bin and that's gonna stay in here and just worked on emptying out this entire uh, console table to be just my toy rotation storage. Christian so graciously offered to build the Ikea kitchen and I'm so grateful he did it because just wait till you see how many parts this thing comes in. It's a big, big undertaking to build this. When Maddie was probably one and under, all of her toys were like a single item. So like a ball or like a teether or just like one single piece. And now that she's getting older, a lot of her toys have dozens of teeny tiny little parts and it's impossible for her to like play as well as she possibly could with those toys when she has all of them out like this because you just don't know where the pieces are. So my goal for this organization project was to one, clean all of this up and declutter, but also have a better system for organizing her toys and not letting her have access to all of them at the same time that resulted in this giant mess. I was okay with her making this mess though, like I facilitated it with opening whatever she wanted opened because that kept her entertained while I was doing all of my earlier decluttering but for going forward like in this playroom being actually functional I want to like rotate through the toys that definitely works for our family and I need to make sure that they are organized and easy to just switch out if I have to go hunting 15 tiny little parts to put together her game and then present that out I'm, I'm not going through all that trouble so I'm doing all of that work today I found these little bins from Home Depot of all places they came in a pack of four I bought two sets of them and I'm just grouping toys together and things that are even like smaller sets like we uh, just got from Florida from my mom a little set of uh, magnets that are the alphabet, lowercase and uppercase letters. I'm putting all of those within a plastic baggie and then inside one of these tubs. Much more contained and organized and I don't have to go looking for all of the pieces to a toy. When I'm ready to rotate something out for her or bring out a new toy or something that's exciting for her, it's all already there for me. And I'm hoping I can keep it this way. I don't think I filmed it, but I ended up baby proofing this console table too. So Maddie is not able to just open this up and ask to get into all of these bins. They are locked away, out of sight, out of mind and unable for her to reach. So I will update you on if this system works for us. I think it really, really will. And the big thing that's gonna work for me is keeping all of the toys with these teeny tiny pieces downstairs. I have been getting so overwhelmed in the upstairs of our home recently with the bathroom build going on, all of the tools, trying to keep the girls out of Christian's way while he is working over there. Like I just don't need a thousand tiny pieces all over the carpet upstairs too. Stepping on Legos and all of that stuff is a pain and just adds to the chaos of my life. So anything with lots of tiny parts is living down here. Bigger toys can go upstairs and rotate through up there. Like she has a shopping cart up there. She has a little toy push car. She has her sensory table that she loves doing activities there. I'm good with all of those up there. And I love having all of the little pieces downstairs that are out of my way, out of sight. And at the end of the day, if I don't want to clean down here, I just close the door to the basement and don't have to think about this room until tomorrow. Save me. 
being a mom to a toddler is also so much fun because here I am going through one of her little bins that I just put away with all of her food and baking stuff she got for her birthday and setting up her little kitchen full of little muffin tins and pots and pans and little fake eggs and all of the adorable cute things that I can't wait for her to come home and see. Now this pile over here on the Nugget couch is all the toys we are decluttering and getting rid of in this house. They're just things that Madeline's never really played well with as a baby, as a toddler, just things she's never really shown interest in. And yes, I could hold on to them and babies are different and Daisy may love a toy that Maddie never liked, but I don't want to do that. I'm going to get rid of them. I'm actually going to sell a lot of them. Some of them are much nicer toys. So they're going to go in little toy bundles on Facebook Marketplace. Maybe I should talk about that now. But uh, a lot of stuff that we took out of this house or out of the basement, we ended up selling. And uh, so far I have made close to $500 from just selling the stuff laying around the house. Now, some things were just bigger items like that refrigerator in here sold for $150 and that definitely contributes to the total. But I was selling books for $5, clothes for $5. We got rid of the big TV down there. So we sold the TV mount that it went on. We sold a board game. We sold some tools Christian was done with, just like a bunch of random junk that we didn't think would sell. And uh, we took the time. It probably was maybe an hour or two of my work actually photographing and listing stuff. But I will say an hour or two of work to have $500 back in return was was totally worth it and I made it super easy for myself. Someone on YouTube shared how they sell on Facebook Marketplace and I definitely recommend it. Uh, it's Blair Lamb. If you go to her channel you can find her Facebook Marketplace video but the basic gist of what I followed from her channel was how to sell it. I listed everything as cash only. I'm not dealing with scammers. If somebody wants you to download Zelle or Venmo it's very likely they are trying to scam you so cash only is how I did this. I also just told them that I will leave their item on my front step with their name on it with a little post-it note and they can just leave the cash under the doormat. That way I don't have to talk to anybody. They can pick up an item if I'm home. Like you don't have to schedule an exact time that works for both of you. We also have a doorbell camera that records anybody at our front door. So we were able to see if anybody picked up their item or didn't pay for it. And out of like the 15 items, every single person paid the full amount. No one tried to short us. Everybody was honest and good. And so that's all worked out really well for us. So Facebook Marketplace was a big win. Decluttering this basement is a huge win. These before and after shots are like mind blowing to me that we actually have this much space to use in our basement because so much of our house previously was just square footage we couldn't use. So thank you for following along on this video. Thank you for decluttering with me. And also thank you to Ritual for sponsoring this portion of the video. I want to remind you guys, you can scan this QR code here or visit ritual.com slash Allison McPhail to get 20% off your first month of Ritual Vitamins. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video and are looking forward to the finale of our bathroom build series next. Said you needed a break and left with no heads out.